Some parents from Forum of Some Model College in Lagos have protested the increase of boarding fees by the Lagos State Government. The parents who carried out the peaceful protest at the gate of the Alausa Secretariat demanded the immediate reversal of the boarding fees, which was increased from 35,000 Naira to 100,000 Naira. We are now being joined by the Vice Chairman Parents Forum, Lagos State Model Colleges, Mr. Nasiruddin Subair. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us, Mr. Subair. Good afternoon, sir, Mr. Agaji. Okay. Uh, well, we'd like to have an update of what is going on. Where are you now and what is uh, the situation like? Have you been addressed by a government official or what is really happening now? Um, thank you very much. I'm right and direct and, uh, at the, house, uh, the entrance of the House of Assembly, Lagos State. So where all the parents were out, you know, to demand for a, a, a kind of a, uh, explanation to the hike in the increment of a boarding fee from these uh, honorable house members. But I heard that uh, you said some parents from some of the uh, modern colleges in Lagos State. But the truth is that we that are on ground are parents from all all the modern colleges and upgraded schools in Lagos State. So we don't have any school that is left behind. So, and that is why the hike has, is, is killing and we need to come around, you know, to, 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 for, for a protest, for them to pity us, you know, to listen to our prayers and have a rethink to what Mr. Governor has uh, announced that there's no going back on this high tree. That is why we are here. We've been to uh, the set main secretariat this morning. We've been on ground since nine o'clock. And now we heard that the honorable members are here in their own uh, 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 assembly. That is why we are here to, for solidarity purpose. Okay, so, so far you've not been addressed by any government official, whether from the legislative or executive arm. Nobody, no official none of them has come out to address us it, before the, this uh, because, fee was before uh, this I fee was hiked were you not given any notice and an, and some kind of explanation why it needed to be hiked indeed um we are not being involved and we are not being notified about this uh, whole uh, 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 hike of a body fee we just woke up on friday morning trying to confirm things, preparing our children to resume, you know, on Sunday, only for us to now receive a memo on our uh, parent forum pages. That was exactly around 6 o'clock on Friday, after the work hour of Friday, that the body fee has been increased from 35,000 Naira to, uh, to 100,000 Naira per time. Okay, well, uh, so far we hope that you will be addressed by government officials and more explanation will be given to you. Well, right now, we'll just wait for that update. Maybe later on we'll reconnect with you and find out uh, what the government said and if there is any respite to what you're asking them to do. Yeah, yeah Mr. Agadi, I think uh, the, the, style, the, the kind of a uh, uh, feeler we are getting it, uh, from them is that they are not ready to address us. Because this will be the fifth time we'll be coming to House of Assembly. The last time we came, uh, that's the fourth one, they, they said we should give them the opportunity to look into this thing and get back to us in a week. That was last Thursday. But unfortunately, uh, uh, Tuesday. Unfortunately, just on Wednesday, they sent a circular that we should come and seat them on last Thursday, which we are here. Now, the chairman and two executive councils, state executive council, went in, and the only thing they could come out with is that they said the chairman house committee on education, uh, Honorable Mrs. Ogudara, told them categorically that since the, Mr. Governor has gone on air to announce that amount, they can't go back because they are not ready to embarrass Mr. Governor. But the logic is this. Nobody is saying they should embarrass Mr. Governor. But if that is their own perception, is it possible that you now, because of Mr. Governor, now begin to embarrass 
over 50,000 parents and equal number of our children. You want to put them across, uh, uh, out of the school because of what Mr. Governor has fought, gone, to the, uh, gone on air to say. We are saying this amount is too outrageous. The minimum wage, though it has, it has not been paid, it's 85,000 naira. Within three months, you are calculating as a, a, as a term. The amount is just 255 if you multiply 85 by 3. Well, that is uh, the, uh, uh, that's from uh, Alausa. That's from the State House of Assembly, actually, uh, where the parents of model colleges are uh, protesting the f hike in, uh, uh, in the boarding fees from 35,000 Naira to 100,000 Naira. We'll find out what the update is in subsequent bulletins if uh, we need to, and we'll bring you the story as uh, it happens. Okay, now we're going to move outside Africa, where Kamala Harris and Donald Trump take their nail-biting White House race west on Thursday, seeking supremacy on border security and aiming to woo crucial Latino voters days ahead of the U.S. election. Pop singer Jennifer Lopez will bring her star power to the stage for Harris in Las Vegas as the candidates battle through the seven swing states expected to decide the next president. Meanwhile, Trump has scheduled an interview with, in Arizona with ex-Fox News host Tucker Carlson and a rally in Nevada. Both campaigns have been sidetracked in recent days after controversies stemming from a remark by a warm-up speaker at a Trump rally which initially blew back against Republicans before a damaging gaffe from President Joe Biden. Trump is betting that frustrations over the Biden-Harris administration and immigration policy will swing Arizona, which shares a border with Mexico, back in his favor. Biden beat Trump in Arizona in 2020, becoming the first Democrat since Bill Clinton in 1999 to win the state's electoral college votes. Latinos have traditionally voted more in favor of Democrats, but recent polling shows a noticeable trend towards Republican.